All right, folks, what I'd like to do is walk you through Shimat and ShimDT, which is the attachment process for a piece of shared memory that already exists, and the detachment process for a piece of shared memory in C++. The first thing you want to do after you create a piece of shared memory or after you want to, to get to a piece of shared memory, the first thing you need to do is attach to it. ShimGet returns the segment ID, so you're going to need this segment ID in order to attach to a piece of shared memory. Um, and so what you see here, the first argument to shim at, which is the attachment function, is the segment ID. The second argument we're, we're not really going to use. The third argument we also set to zero. But if the piece of shared memory that you're trying to attach to is read-only, if you have read-only permissions to it, then you'll want to pass this uh, option variable shim underscore read-only. If you'd like to learn about other options of shimat, um, feel free to go look up the man page. Okay, so three parameters. The segment ID, we're going to pass null, and then we're either going to pass zero if we have full permissions, or shim read only if we have only read only permissions. Schmat returns uh, an address, and it returns an address that it attaches this piece of shared memory to your address space. And what we're going to do with that address is cast it into a pointer. Now, that pointer can either be an array name, but it might also just be treated like a pointer. In this case, I have a struct called my object, which has a float and an integer in it, a float <coughs> base and an integer exponent. And what I'm doing here is I'm casting the return value of schmat into a pointer of the type my object. So if the shared memory that I'm attaching to has multiple my objects in it, then this is returning the address of the first one. If it has only one, then this is just returning the address of the first one. And so PTR here refers to a pointer to either an array of those objects or the only object that exists. Either way, you can use array type notation in order to handle this if you want. Um, what you'll notice is that schmat returns negative one on failure. And so there is this weird uh, check down here in this if statement that if the pointer is equal to void star negative one, uh, oops, I, I miss mispasted there. If the pointer is equal to void star negative one, then there's an error. And so this is just one way to check for the error. Um, obviously, pointer shouldn't have a value of negative one. That 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 shouldn't be an address space that you should be messing around with. Um, so if this happens, then that schmat has failed. So at this point, the pointer is the address of the attachment point into the into, into shared memory. Um, so you can use pointer arrow and get into the first object. If you have multiple objects, then you can use pointer left square bracket and then the index into the array right square bracket dot. So you can use either the dot operator if you're going to treat it as if it's an array of my objects, or you can use the arrow operator if you're going to treat it as if it's a single object. Uh, a lot of times when you attach to a piece of shared memory, you're getting an array of, of some type of object. And so you can access the individual components of that object using the dot operator. It's pretty simple. So you need the segment ID. You're going to pass in a couple of options, and you'll get back a pointer. And you can use that either as an array name, or you can use it as the actual pointer into the object. Now, shimdt is going to turn out to be much simpler. All you really need to pass to that is that address. You, you have to pass the address, and we stored it in this variable called PTR. So in order to detach that piece of shared memory from this process, I'll call shimdt, and I'll pass that address value in there, and then it will be detached. There aren't a lot of reasons why shimdt should fail. Um, perhaps if you tried to shimdt on a pointer that isn't attached, it might fail. Um, but if you're actually detaching a valid piece of shared memory, then and there's not a lot of reasons why this would return negative 1. But I do a check here just in case, so that if this shimdt does return negative 1, then I'll print out an error and exit out. All right, good luck.